friends, I Preeti welcome you to the High Tech Billing Software channel. Today I will be giving you a tutorial on how to set up the reward program setup. Then I will explain you how to create an invoice and reward points. Finally, I will show you how to view the points used and earned by your client. So let's get started. First, I will tell you how to set up the reward program. Go to settings and choose general. Click program setup and new window will show you different reward program settings. Program setup consists of two sections, namely point generate setup and redeem setup. Starting with point generate setup, first is the activate reward program. For activating reward program, you need to check this box or uncheck to deactivate. Next comes amount to words. Here you need to specify how much points will generate on specific amount. Let's take an example for better understanding. If you set one point for rupees 100, this will generate 10 points on invoice amount of rupees 1000. If you set two points for rupees 100, this will generate 20 points on invoice amount of rupees 1000. Next is minimum invoice value for generating points. Here you can define minimum invoice value on which your customer will earn points. For example, if you set rupees 100 as minimum invoice value, then customer will earn point only when invoice value is greater than or equal to rupees 100. Next comes maximum points which can be generated per invoice. You can use this to specify maximum points which your customer can earn in invoice. For example, if you set 20 as maximum points, then customer can earn maximum 20 points even if invoice value is rupees 100,000. Next is round off points. As name suggests, it will round off earned point. For example, if round off is enabled, one point will be generated on the invoice of rupees 150 and if disabled 1.5 will be generated next comes expire points after this allows you to specify number of days after which earned point will expire for example if 10 points are generated on 1st february 2022 and you set points to expire after 365 days then these 10 points if unused will expire on 1st Feb 2023. Points may have different expiry dates depending upon the date of generation and program setup. Here comes redeem setup part. First option in this is point redeem value. You can use to specify redemption value of point. If the value of point in rupees for example if we set rupee 1 then it means that one point is equal to rupee 1 when converted in amount. Next is maximum points which can be redeemed in invoice. Here you can set maximum points which can be redeemed in one invoice. For example, if you set this value to 10, then only 10 point can be redeemed in one invoice even if 50 points are available in account. Next comes minimum points to be redeemed in invoice. Here you can set minimum points which can be redeemed in one invoice. For example, if you set this value to 5, then your customer need to redeem at least 5 points if available otherwise he cannot redeem points. Next is minimum points balanced to be maintained. As name suggests, this is minimum point balance required to be maintained and this cannot be redeemed. For example, if you set this to 10, then customer can only redeem points if point balance is greater than 10. Congratulations, you successfully created reward program which will help in business promotion and increasing customer retention. After reward program setup, next question which will come in our mind is how customer will earn and redeem points. Now we will create an invoice and generate points. 
all points are linked with customer account and customer may receive message of point generation with point balance. In reward point section, you can see points available and text box for entering points you want redeem. Under reports, various reward points reports of earned and used points is available. In earned reports, you can see invoice number, point earned and expiry date. You can search using various filters like dates, client names and contact number. At the bottom, you can see total points earned in the period selected. Data can be exported in various formats like PDF and Excel. Second report is used point which provides detail about transactions in which points are used. You can search using various filters like date, client name, contact number. At the bottom, you can see total points used and its value in the period selected. Data can be exported in various formats like PDF and Excel. I hope this tutorial helps you in knowing our reward program better. For more details, you can contact us at 9162629898 or mail us at info at hightechbillsoft.com or visit us at www.hightechbillsoft.com. That's all from my side. Meet you in the next video. Till then, keep building with smart high-tech software. Thank you.